Chapter 1, Part 1 of Memoirs of Extraordinary Popular Delusions and the Madness of Crowds. Point of response. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people who like to hear themselves talk out there. The... Hi guys, how are you? Mind this one, Titania. Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. And uh, let's listen to more bullshit uh, from people, you know, that like to hear themselves talk out there. Always, always talking, always talking, spreading useless information, always talking, la, 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 la. No substance. Seven. Remember, the keys for tomorrow is close below 150. You get a close below 150, then you get next day follow through action. Then That's the key. The key old... is that it closes below the 147 area. And once it closes below the 147 area, we want to see follow through. Okay. Key area. He's been saying this shit since July 5th. Okay. Since July 5th, he's been saying, oh, it's the key area. The 212. Uh, on the 10 year is a key area, 210 is a key area, 209 is a key area, and the whole entire time it's key, 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 key area, follow through, key, key, key area, key, key, you, know, you don't believe me, go to his fucking Facebook and watch it, you don't have to listen to me, just go to his Facebook, go down, scroll down, and see what he says, it's a key area, and it's a key area, and you need to see follow through, and uh, you know, uh, the, the old time lows are in play, and I wrote about this. You know, you guys have to start understanding what the difference between a possibility is and what a probability is. Anything is possible that the S&P 500 tomorrow goes to zero. It's possible, but it's not probable. So what these guys, these scam artists do, because now Logan has become one of these scam artists, is to tell you, well, you know, it's possible that this could happen this year. <laughs> Anything is possible. And then... Uh, Start saying, well, this is a key area. This is a key area. This is a key area. Useless information. What are you supposed to do? Go take your money and go and say, oh, you know, oh, look, it held. It held the 152 area. Okay. Oh, we're up to 163. Great. I can go out and invest. It's going higher only to fucking collapse on your face down at 47. Like, what are you supposed to do with that information? Let me, let me show you something because I've been doing this way too long. I've been doing this since 2010. And, uh, well, actually before that, but I, I stuck to, to one channel since 2010. So let's listen to what they were saying back then, okay? I love team, Tim Seymour here is kicking the fucking living shit out of fucking Peter Schiff. Okay, so just listen to this. Uh, expert guru, Peter Schiff, the Austrian economist. I think the dollar will collapse. I mean, I think it could happen maybe as soon as this fall. Question, and then Peter's going to respond. Okay, there's a lot of people like to hear themselves talk out there. The bottom line is, Peter, first of all, where are the Chinese going to go? You're talking about rates are backing up here. Where aren't they going up? You show me a country around the world where rates aren't going up. You want to be in Europe? And you tell me what happens when the, when the 10 year goes over 4%, the Chinese will be first in line to buy the 10 year. You tell no, me. No, they won't. Rate, where they're, are rates going to go, Peter? Are rates are really going to go up to 6% next year in this world, in this environment? Yeah. They're gonna, Where are you, you know going to buy? It's a better deal than Treasuries at four percent. Treasuries are a lousy deal. I think. Look, I think rates. What are, are you buying go then? You've, you've always got a lot to say against the dollar and the U.S. government. What are you buying that's not gold? And give me something specific. Well, I am buying gold, but I'm buying stocks all around the world. I'm buying commodities. I, you know, if interest rates are going to go up, but the country that's going to be hurt the most by higher rates is the U.S. because we have the uh -huh. most debt. The U.S. has the, the most ability to issue debt. debt. The U.S. is the largest bond market by a factor of ten. That's, and that's you think people are going to run away from the table just because yields have backed up five percent? This is actually a buying opportunity. <laughs> but with whose money? Who you don't buy with? Money. You want to buy the with Chinese money. have done Go better ahead. than anybody in this bond market. The people huh? that you say are going to run for the door are the people that have made Hold the on, most guys, money and have the yeah. most guys, to lose. We, gonna, we've been in a bond. We've been in a bull market in bonds for twenty years. You'd Interest rates. What if? What if? The <laughs> you see, it never ends. It never ends. All you're going to get are from people, oh, I'm the alternative news media, I know better than everybody else, la la la, you know, listen to me, look, I'm over here, if the, the key area breaks here, uh, you know, oh, the bonds have been in the bull market for 20 years, they have to uh, sell off, so here we are now in 2019, and we have the new Peter Schiff telling you about a key area, and how we need to see follow through when the fucking market in bonds, you know, has been soaring and the interest rates have been collapsing. 
collapsed straight the fuck down. Did he tell you about that? Mm -mm. No, he didn't. Okay, he didn't tell you about that. You know why he didn't tell you about that? Because he doesn't have a fucking clue either. He's just as clueless as, every, as everybody else. I did tell you that this right up here is going to break and this is going to lead to the downside. Now, did I know that it's going to come all the way down here and fucking start going, you know, into the abyss? I had no clue. No clue. That is not my job to know. But I did tell you that this is going to break and interest rates would go lower. And this is what the world needs. Honesty. It needs honesty. It needs someone to tell you what reality is. Okay, that's the next niche market. Honesty, pure, just tell it like it is, be real. And then, and only then, uh, is it is it going to be okay for people to sit here and listen to um, internet gurus. People with a proven track record, with fucking skin in the game, and not some guy on fucking Facebook not showing you his portfolio, you know, where he's investing, what he's really doing in the background. Till then, stop listening to fucking clowns. Stop listening to fucking circus clowns. That's it for now. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You will never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Before this battle's over, the world will know that few stood against many.